Hello viewers and welcome to another train review. Today we're starting our journey at Bathgate station and we're going to be travelling on the North Clyde line between Bathgate and Glasgow Queen Street low level via Airdrie. So let's explain exactly what the Airdrie to Bathgate rail link is. The Airdrie to Bathgate rail link is what the name implies. It's a rail link that connects Airdrie and Bathgate and it connects Bathgate and Edinburgh Waverley alongside other major towns such as Livingston with the North Clyde line to stations such as Glasgow Queen Street Low Level, Coatbridge Sunnyside, Dalmuir, Dumbarton Central, Helensburgh Central and Mulgai. Before this extension was complete, Bathgate was served by the smaller station, which was opened in 1986 as part of the Edinburgh to Bathgate link. What's interesting about this station is that it's the only station that was ever properly served by Pacers in Scotland, those being Class 143s. They were served by primarily Class 158s and 170s, much like Falkirk, up until 2010 when the new station was completed and the link to Airdrie was also completed, and Class 334s replaced them, and also technically Class 318s and 320s. The plaque seen here was used to mark the opening of the current station in October 2010. My train departs on Platform 2, which is the 1134 ScotRail service from Edinburgh Waverley to Helensburgh Central. So let's go on the footbridge and cross over to Platform 2. And here's my train arriving now, 334035, arriving on time at 11.31 and departing at 11.34. Jesus, this train went further up the platform than I thought it would. That's us now on board, and right away, no tables, and we accidentally sat on the non scenic side. So we swapped seats, but still, no tables, and only three carriages. And then this Edinburgh one pulls up in the opposite direction with six carriages. Six Lucky carriages. sods. Yeah. I can't believe that says leaving Bathgate with 50 minutes ahead of us to Glasgow. Three minutes later and we arrive at our first station at Armadale. We're nowhere near Glasgow Queen Street yet, around 12 stops to go. This may be a long, shaky suburban train, but the actual route itself has really nice scenery as you can see. That's hell in there. And now we're passing by probably the most scenic part of our route, which is Hill End Lock, which is close to Calder Crooks. We are now approaching Calder Crooks. Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. That's has left Calder Crooks now, and we're starting to enter the North Lanarkshire region, getting fairly close to Airdrie. And that, viewers, is us now arriving at Airdrie Station, which is the last point of the actual Airdrie to Bathgate link, but that's us now officially on the North Clyde Line, entering Glasgow. And as you've heard throughout the video, this Class 334 creaks and squeaks like crazy, and honestly, you should see how much it shakes sometimes. Oh Christ. A bit of time's passed and that's us now leaving Coatbridge Sunnyside Station. And that's us passing the Coatbridge Summerlee Museum, passing a diesel shunting locomotive and National Coal Board in number 6. Unfortunately, both are not in running condition, and what I was really hoping to see was the Class 311 sets, or at least two carriages of them, that they preserve here. However, I think they're in storage right now. Yeah, <laughs> it was 
This is High Street. This train is for Ellensborough Central. The next stop is Glasgow Queen Street Low Level. Well, viewers, after around 50 minutes, that's us leaving our final stop before Glasgow High Street. And we'll be in Glasgow in around two minutes. And thus, that concludes my review of the Airdrie to Bathgate rail link slash North Clyde line from Bathgate to Glasgow Queen Street Low Level. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos just like this one.